Yo guys, it's Clay, and in today's video, we're going to be checking out the PDSW and Modern Warfare 2. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that like button. Today's like goal is going to be 40 likes, so if you could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. It helps out the channel a bunch. Alright, so jumping into the barrel, I'm going to be using a 17-inch Corvus Pro range barrel. It adds bullet velocity, damage range, recoil control, and hip fire accuracy. Getting into the tuning. Alright, so for the tuning, as you can see, I did add 0.50 to the weight to add a lot of recoil steadiness. I feel like the PDW struggles with the recoil a lot. And it is going to be hard to control that recoil. Or to put on attachments that fully control the recoil. So adding that will help out a bunch. And as you can see at the bottom, I added 0.15 inches to the length. Just to add a little bit more damage range without losing a lot of aim down sight speed. Okay, for some reason on the underbarrel, I was using the demo IMP44 grip, and you couldn't see the pros unless you deselected it, so I am going to be using it for the aiming idle stability, hit fire accuracy, and recoil stabilization. And like I said, for the recoil stabilization, I'm going to go ahead and add 0.40 to the weight just to get a little bit more recoil help. The PDW struggles, like I said, in the barrel. It struggles a lot with recoil. And so I didn't lose a lot of aiming idle stability. I went ahead and took away negative 15 to the inches just to get some more aim walking speed, just to kind of even it out with the barrel. And jumping down into the rail, I think this is, yeah, the rail, I am using the integrated reflex rail. It adds like a little red dot sight and it also gives you a lot of movement speed. Jumping into the tuning for it, I added 0.10 pounds to the recoil steadiness. Just so I don't lose a lot of sprint speed because you already run like a slug in this game. So you don't want to lose too much of that. And in the sprint to fire speed, I took away negative 0.19 inches. Just so I don't run out of a lot of that recoil stabilization that we added on the underbarrel. For the rear grip, I'm going to be using the Bruin G305 grip wrap. It adds flinch resistance. Alright, so in the tuning, I'm guessing the aiming idle stability is flinch resistance. So I went ahead and put 19 inches to the width, or 0.19 inches to the width. And for the recoil steadiness, I added 0.42 ounces to the weight. And jumping into the stock, I am going to be using the CQB stock. It adds crouch movement speed, sprint speed, aim down sight speed. And with the tuning, we went with 1.63 inches to the to the link to add aiming idle stability and we took away negative 4.0 ounces so we can get the maximum amount of aim down sight speed if you guys end up trying this class setup and you like it let me know down in the comments or if you have a better class setup let me know what that is down in the comments i have a crazy gameplay for you guys i hope you guys enjoy hit that like button and i'll see you in the next one All right, we're going to be checking out the PDW. At first, I didn't really like this gun, but then I slowly got used to it, and I changed a little bit of attachments around. And I ended up actually popping off with it one game, and I was like, oh, this gun might be pretty good. Why are you just sitting like that? You do have to be careful with the aim down sight time. It is a little slow, but it's not nothing that can be managed. My game just lagged. My game is like skipping a little bit. I don't know why. I hope I'm close to fast hands because I cannot. Is that a person? That is a person. What are they? Uh, I don't know what he was doing, but. Enemy personnel at the hard point. <clears throat> don't want to stay on the hard point. I'm gonna call this UAV in just so I can go get some more kills. Oh 
Oh my god. Enemy personnel at the hard point. Hard point is located. Stand by. Requesting recon in my location. Copy that. Kind of scared right now. No, I really wanted that kill. Alright, we have a veto. You know, it's kind of crazy, like, seeing the kind of comments that I'd be getting on some of my videos. Some of it's kind of funny. My gosh, she did not lay off the trigger at all. I kind of want them to be on this hard point right here. <clears throat> I didn't think he was going to look right there. Hopefully my uh, veto pops off. I didn't even know you could get up here. Yeah, teammate just stole all my kills. Alright, we're sitting at 31 kills right now. We need to push. Got a UAV. No, I'm dead. I knew he was gonna come back. That's why I tried to hurry up and reload and switch to my deagle, but it didn't work out like that. Push over here. Throwing Watch out. I'm reloading. point compromised. Secure the area. Switching my teammate, you're taking all my kills. I can't get past a, a veto. I can't get my advance at all. That is why you use a pistol. Call this UAV and I'm a I'm a flank all the way around. There's one right here. He's gonna jump in the water. Yep. Can't you use your pistol? You can. How is he not dead? UAV is exiting the AO. 
he's already ran away now. I don't really like that underwater animation. I'm pretty sure he's already... Yeah, I don't like that. Come on. Confirming next hard point. Stand by. Changing back. Hard point relocated. Secure the target area. I'm reloading. Switching back. Any more? Oh, they're all running away now. Not one that died to that. Where's this guy? At? Friendly UAV on station. No, why are you just sitting right there? How many kills am I at? Alright, once I get 60, I'll, I'll be good. I don't know how he didn't die. If you watch this far into the video, let me know your highest kill game. A lot of people don't watch this far, so it'd be pretty cool to see somebody comment. He pulled out his P90, or he picked mine up. I don't want to... See, I didn't want him to push because now the game's going to end. 73 kills, GG's.